anyways, this is costing me a lot of money. They want to make me go do drug tests. When the state drove me to fucking do drugs. Because of this law. Now I'm getting penalized. Now, if I don't do this, if I don't pay for a drug test, $18, yes, you people might say, a lot of people might say, that ain't nothing. It's a lot to me. Especially with the season we had, all the rain, and I work outdoors. Yes, it's a lot for me. I don't get paid by the job, or I don't get, yeah, I get paid at the end of the, when the job's completed, but I don't get paid. Like, I get paid hourly. I don't get paid like I bid on the job where I'm making big money. So yes, that $18. And now I gotta have an alcoholist or an assessment thing done on me. That's $169. I can't afford this. You know, I mean, right now I'm an ex-drug addict still trying to climb out of the hole that the state put me in for driving mentally, for driving me mentally nuts with this stupid law. This law is one of the stupidest things. I don't think it should even be around. If she's allowed to kick you out in the frost laws are in the winter, the government needs to make it allow where she can't keep your trailer. At least give you till six months. At least three good months of good weather are two good months of good weather to have it moved when the frost laws are lifted in this state so I'm President Biden if this ain't true I'll kiss your ass right on the White House lawn on national TV this is how uh, bad I want this law changed but what made my sobriety the day after I got pulled over I said enough enough I went over and I rode on stag 42 Indiana license plate one of the guys that hated me so much I wanted to see me in jail but yet don't know me and don't know what drove me to drive them crazy. Now you see America just fucked me up mentally. Dr. Phil, I got a lot of things if you can reveal where I could use help. And if anybody can, you can. If anybody out there thinks I'm a bad guy, you know, I'd help out anybody if I can. If I'm physically, mentally. But I blame the judge and the city. I did. I hated it come to realize and accept that it was a state law. It wasn't them. And I made my own sobriety want my son. And marijuana helped me fight the urges. And now they're telling me I can't smoke marijuana. They're about to 
people are charging me all this money. I'm about to lose it. I last for Jeffrey Figer, grandma lawyer. I'm calling you out, buddy.